like to call this uh, August 12, 2019 meeting of the Redevelopment Commission to order. Executive Director Brian Messmore. Present. Chairman Mel Davis. I'm here. Vice Chairman Randy Abner. Here. Secretary Kevin Schaefer. Here. Member Owen Cross. Here. Member Paul <coughs> Seymour Sr. Present. Lawrenceburg School Board Member Brian Johnson. Here. And City Attorney Zach Anderson. Here. Uh, has everyone had a chance to review the minutes of the last meeting? So I'll, I'll accept a motion to approve. So moved. Moved. Second. I have a second. Second. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any announcements? Financial report. As of August 6, the balance for redevelopment is $2,545,034.79. And after monies promised towards projects, it's $1,455,539.69. And also included in your packets is a report from um, Richard Richardson. Okay. I want to back up a little bit. We have a work session on July 17th. Has everyone had a chance to review those minutes? Okay. I'll accept a motion to approve them. I'll make a motion we approve them minutes. Okay. Moved. Do I have a second? I'll second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Passed. <coughs> New business. Uh, Adam Gent, 359 Arch Street offer. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike Sarapata. I am part of, uh, with Adam Gent of Gent uh, Construction. Uh, we're submitting an offer, a proposal for 359 Arch Street. Uh, we've included a packet uh, to the commission. Uh, essentially what it looks at is a single family residence dwelling. Uh, it's really, it's gonna be a two bedroom, three, or three bedroom, two bath is what we're kind of believing it will be. However, the renderings and the drawings has additional offerings as to how that can be put out as to even additionally in an office, things like that. We'll also include a two-car uh, detached garage across the street. We're anticipating the uh, amount for the home will be roughly between the range of $175,000 to $195,000. Uh, our offer on the lot this time is $100. Uh, we'd ask the, court, the commission to accept this uh, particular offer. Uh, and allow us to go ahead and move forward. We anticipate building very soon. Uh, within six months to a year, uh, should definitely be completed and ready to uh, proceed with any type of home ownership. Uh, is there any questions from the commission I could answer? Yes, sir. Committee? Yes, sir. I, had, uh, I heard you say that it was single family, but we don't have a floor plan. <clears throat> and there's no brick on the front. Can we ask, ask for a floor plan before we approve anything? We want to see what's being built. It looks like a duplex to me. It is not a duplex. It's a single family. Again, the, the first floor would be, a, there would be a living room, kitchen, and then the back portion would be an office or a, uh, for, a fourth bedroom. The top will have a... Uh, balcony which would be exitable from the bedroom 
Uh, and then the bedroom upstairs, the master uh, bedroom with master bath. And then well, there's additionally uh, two bedrooms with a bath upstairs as well. The kitchen obviously on the first floor. Uh, floor plans, uh, we have things to the architectural uh, to get the floor plan, all the information done that way. But we are kind of also looking for possibly some information that whatever the, this commission would be looking for. We, we, we look for brick on the front. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, a little bit of what, what the shrubbery may be or some landscaping. But you've got one, two, three, four, five windows on this one side. That, that's a lot of windows on, on one side. And you've got ten, really. We, we think uh, those windows, uh, obviously, uh, it's kind of an open floor concept uh, with a lot of windows, bring a lot of sunlight in, uh, things that we just think will make a very nice house. Uh, the brick on the front, if, if there's some certain specifications to that, we'd be happy to, to look at that and kind of go just from there. the neighborhood, if, if, you, if you look at some of the new homes that have been sure. put together there, yes. we'd kind of like to stay in that, that, that area. Sure, and we've taken a look at the New several homes that are built. They're very nice. Uh, I know the one on the farthest end <coughs> is pretty much all brick. Uh, and if that's, uh, I'm not for sure if that would be something that this commission is looking well, we're for. We're not asking for an all brick, just sure. the front and you know area of the porch, full porch, which you've got. Okay. Uh, just a little dress up. That's what I'm saying. Sure. We'd be happy to consider doing that if that's uh, what the commission's looking for. Or but how long would it be before you know what, what the floor plan is? Uh, it's We've got the floor plan. It's a shotgun style house to where. I don't, you know, it, it, I'm not a builder, so <coughs> shotgun don't mean anything to me. <laughs> Long and skinny. <laughs> Long and skinny, that's right. Long and skinny. That, that's what the lot would require, really. Uh, the lot's a very long, skinny lot, uh, and that, so that'd be the best. Way that we could we could build on that. It property. is. It, yes. Yeah. Thirty-five by one thirty-five is a lot. I was I was that was pointed out to me that it's going to be a, a hard lot to build on. So. All right. If you guys will guarantee me it's a single family, I'm I'll be <coughs> happy. Fancy. But I want that Fancy. on the record. Second floor yep. second floor porch is all it has. That might be why you thought the duplex. That's that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. We think that's a great add-on as to that second floor balcony. Is I have a question. Yes, sir. The, on the second floor, which will be bedrooms and bathrooms. Yes, sir. Is there a hallway connecting the bedrooms or? The hallway will be down the one side of the house. Okay. Which side, north or south, do you know? Be on the right side if you're looking at the house. Okay, south side. Yeah, right, and then all yeah. the bedrooms and bathrooms will branch off. <coughs> Any other questions? I'll accept a motion to either approve or disapprove Mr. Gent's uh, proposal. I make the motion that we accept this uh, proposal. Moved. Is there a second? I'll, I'll second this uh, proposal. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I've got one opposed. Okay. Roll call. Member Randy Abner. Yay. Member Kevin Schaefer. Yay. Member Owen Cross. Yes. Member Paul Seymour Sr. No. Motion passes um, three to one. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.
have a joint resolution to consider for transfer of half of lot number 25. Yes, sir. Thank you. So the members you have before you, a uh, joint resolution between City Council and the Redevelopment Commission. This is for one half of Lot 25 from the original plat of the City of Lawrenceburg. Um, immediately prior to this meeting, City Council held a work session and voted to uh, transfer half of Lot 25 to the Redevelopment Commission. So all that we need from the Redevelopment Commission is, you know, acceptance of that transfer by way of this joint resolution. Any questions? If not, I'll accept a motion to approve or disapprove the joint resolution. Make a motion to approve. Have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passed. Old business, uh, row house agreement. Brian? Yes, um, well, the, um, I'm pleased to announce that we have um, received all the documentation that we have requested uh, for, from Mr. Stroud, his business plan, budget, um, and I've given the board the opportunity to review those materials. Um, my recommendation this evening would be to take this under advisement. Um, I'm committed to working on a development agreement. Uh, with the fundamentals and the proposal that have been provided um, and schedule an executive session within the next two to three weeks to hammer out the differences in the development agreement between the board and Mr. Stroud. Any questions? And that will be when? Two weeks. That's putting Zach under the time crunch. That's all right. It's good. I mean, it's good news. I mean, it's, you know, we got to hammer it out. We got to get to that point. We have uh, to make sure we uh, understand in depth the, the request and what we're willing to risk and invest as the Redevelopment Commission. In the executive session, could we invite uh, yes. Mr. Stroud? Well, he would have to be there, yes. Okay. There's a proposal to have an executive session in two weeks to hammer out the agreement with the uh, for the row house. Is there a motion? So move. Second. I'll, I'll second. I'll All second. On, okay. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Two weeks. Main Street update, Ryan? Yes, in your packets we've provided the Main Street uh, update as we do on a monthly basis. And uh, if there are any questions or comments uh, regarding the recent activities, this is an opportunity to ask or comment. Any comments, concerns, questions? Thank you, Brian. Uh, has everyone had a chance to uh, review the claims? I got a couple of questions. <coughs> this is my night, I guess. Uh, we got a bill here from Howard Excavating for one three thousand seven hundred and twenty-nine storm drainage. Now we sold this lot just a little while ago for a hundred dollars. Why is our is it our responsibility? to make the repairs where the and I have to ask Mike to help me explain this but where the storm was it was nearly inaccessible to the property the new property owner we didn't have anybody at the time but to get it to the same point where the other houses are we had to extend it down the sidewalk and around the corner which would have been above and beyond what we would typically have for for a connection to the storm so to make the lot ready for hookups i chose to get that far is that something that we talked about before we had to make it ready yeah it was an attempt i brought this to brian's attention because from my understanding of the, the board that any place that
Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, I, can, I can support the comments that Mike's making. If you recall, we had several properties that were owned by redevelopment that didn't really have equal services being provided to them. Some had sewer, some had, you know, electric, some had both, some had neither when we separated lots especially. And so very early on, this commission decided that to be able to equally advertise those lots and have them on a level playing field for people who wanted to come in and purchase them, that we would go through the process of extending those services to those lots. And I know as far as it's electric and sewer and water, we agreed to assume all the, the wages associated with that if the Redevelopment Commission would agree to pay for the materials. And I, we, we agreed on that, and we've, to my, to my knowledge, we've done that with all of those lots to date. Right, I, I think I made that motion back then. Excellent. And, any other questions? If not, I'll Still accept. Bill for the civic park. How come you don't need that? Are you sure it's mine? No, I'll accept a motion to approve the claims. So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Passed. <clears throat> Any comments from the audience? Good evening, guys and gal. Um, I was in the audience and I was listening to the row house scenario and I, I we have been in the audience here for several meetings where we participated and we heard what was going on with the row house and for you guys to set up an executive session i personally have an issue with that and i would like you to reconsider it and i don't think i'm the only one that feels that way in this room and we'd like to be in the meeting I understand if there's contract things and things of that nature, but we've all participated in this process. And I think we'd all like to know what the executive session brings, what fruit it bears. And we, I think we'd like to hear it firsthand in the room. And I'm requesting that you reconsider that, please. And because I would like to be there. And I, and I know there's other people that feel the same way. Um, as far as Mr. Clausen's comments a few minutes ago, he's 100% correct because I was on redevelopment at the time, and that's exactly what we did on the utilities. So thank you for your consideration, and please uh, take it seriously. Thanks. Any comments from the board? Any other comments from the audience? <coughs> Mr. Rival? Yes. Hey, a um, couple things. The barbecue place. I'm sorry. The barbecue place that moved to Aurora. Yeah. Give them 81000 Is Did they take it to Aurora? Uh, I remember when we did it for Strong's, it was a setup. And I think that is absolutely, they took the money and ran. Somebody's got to be responsible for the $81,000 we gave them. Jack, any comments on that? That's subject to litigation right now. Okay, and the next one is, if anybody's down here at any time, we are hurting for a restaurant. Another one. The firehouse was signed, what, a year ago? Is it any of my business to ask why this is dragging on so long? It, uh, I wasn't signed a year ago. I think we just hammered out the agreement. No, I think it's November. <clears throat> No, Mr. Rizzo's in the audience there. The uh, we have scheduled the contract signing for Friday. Friday. Yeah. Okay. He he has been working on drawings to submit to the state. Is that correct, Bob? We have a drawing. We are we're we're going to provide a drawing. We do have a drawing. Yeah. Done at this point. Okay. And you have access to the building to. I don't. You don't have access to the building? I don't. Maybe Mike does. I don't. Mike does. Okay. Mike does? Okay. okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 
Thanks. Yeah, we've been on site several times and we've agreed to have a contract signing on Friday <coughs> this week. You know, back to the barbecue place. When I was on, we signed Strong's. And wasn't it just this is what they agreed to? That, I mean, let's say somebody moved out. I think the agreement said that we got the equipment or whatever. And that takes litigation. Is it not what they signed? I'm not going to comment on pending litigation right now. Uh, okay. I, all right. Thanks. Mr. Snyder. <coughs> I'd like to comment a little bit on the Thomas, ex Thomas Scudder property. Um, there is some, I've, I've, I've heard some uh, information that um, that's certain people want certain things to happen with that property. And I'd like to remind you that the property, that property belongs to redevelopment and I would, I would like to suggest that if something and whatever is going to happen with the properties, either restaurant, um, leave them as is, or whatever, um, that you um, arrange for the original committees that were involved with the park to um, listen to all the possibilities that there that there could be uh, I don't think that anyone ever dreamed that they would have 3,500 people for a concert at, at, at that park so something has to be done to handle 3,500 people in the future or even more um, so that and then um, ask for um, RFQs for for possible designs of whatever is uh, thought to be the best uh, for for that. And then, lastly, I I have the same comment that that Dennis did. <clears throat> Having a closed meeting is not the right thing to do uh, to negotiate a public where someone is asking for public money okay to to build or to to do something that's wrong and and the the, the public should be able to come to the meeting and put their two cents worth in about what what's going on whether it they're against the the amount of money or for the amount of money or so that they hear all of the things that are going to happen well and I and I realize that the, the, the board voted to have a a closed meeting and then you ask them again and no one said anything okay the uh, you can't vote on anything in executive session all you can do is put details together the, so the that, details that's right. will but afterwards uh, excuse me the details will be brought out in a public meeting and the audience will have room before any votes I, taken th the audience will have i, I disagree comments. with you that, that's not what happens and you know it's not what happens well i <laughs> you can't vote in executive session you're not voting. against the law it's not voting but you're hearing everything that individuals want and what you want the I guarantee you that the public will hear everything that was discussed mm -hmm. once it's put together uh, I don't think I should cuss in front of uh, an open house and I can an executive session any other comments Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. <laughs> so moved. Second? Is there a second? I'll second. Too, too short. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Is this the right? I guess we're adjourned. I was just asking if we make sure we get the joint resolution signed. Yes. Yeah.
Okay, I have to sign the resolution.